Hello world, welcome back to my YouTube channel for today's brand new video which is a beauty and style how to tutorial on removing blemishes and smoothening skin. So with that said, let's get right into today's tutorial. So I receive a lot of questions from the beauty community about how do you actually go about smoothening skin tones and how do you actually go about removing blemishes from somebody's face so I'm gonna show you the way that I do that by using Adobe Photoshop now we've already processed this photo through Adobe Lightroom and so now we've imported it into Photoshop and we can begin our editing so what I like to start with is going to my spot healing brush we click on that and I want to increase the size a bit so we'll go to about 24 25 should be a good size and then we just start on areas of her face that have the imperfections and so we'll go through that um, at least it's not too many so we won't be here all day but just for the sake of time I will speed up this part of the video Okay, so we've gone through editing her arm and as you can see we have a major transformation already and so now we're gonna go to her face and we're gonna edit some of the blemishes that are on her face as well and then you can also use this tool for removing hair so this strand of hair that's going across we'll remove that we'll use a smaller brush use about a 12 and we can just glide across that strand of hair there and take that right out takes it right out very easy very simple nothing to it so we'll go through continue going through our other areas I guess we can we'll stay with the small brush since we have it Just get all in the areas that you want to uh, remove where you see any kind of imperfections that you may not like. You can just go ahead and remove those. So once we've gone through that process, we have a entirely better looking photo already. Um, I love what we have here, love the results. And so I guess now it's time for the actual smoothening part. Now we really don't have to do that because her skin is very nice and just with the blemish removal, it turned out entirely better than what we had before. But what I wanna do now is Go over here to my actions and we're gonna do something that's called frequency separation so I already have my folder here just click on this drop down menu and you see all of the different things there so we want to play this action and so I just want to click on that and hit play and then it's gonna stop because I have a stop action in there for the Gaussian blur and this is what I use for um, actually giving that smoother looking tone to um, a model's face or skin so we're going to go about a 1.5 and see what that looks like it looks pretty good let's see what just a one looks like it's actually not bad but we'll go a little bit more just in the event that it doesn't show across the screen very well so I go a little bit higher than what I normally do so do about a 1.7 and so then it's going to complete the action and then it's done so now I want to go over here to this to my folder where my files are 
So you want to make sure you click on the tones copy. And then once you have tones copy selected, you want to come down here to where um, it, this is for your add layer mask. So what we want to do is hold alt and then click on that. So now you see it took off that the, the blur effect. So what we're going to do is bring that in just on her um, facial area. So how we do that is by going to our brush tool and you can select whatever size you want. And so we kind of want to go a little bit bigger. And I have my opacity on 41%. The flow is on 85%. And we just want to blend that in ever so slightly. And then what, what I like to do once I have everything finished is go down here and just flatten the image. And so that way it takes away everything and just flattens your all of your layers. And so once we have that, that is it. So now we have our blemish free and smooth skin model. So hopefully this quick tutorial kind of gave you an idea of how to do this. Of course, again, this is my way for doing this. There are several other ways that you could do this. Uh, which you could probably find throughout YouTube and other ways that people have done this and and accomplished that. But this is the way that I do mine and hopefully it's helpful. So be sure to look for, um, I may have my frequency separation down below where you can download for free. Um, so you can install this into Photoshop. It's very simple, easy. Once you download it, you just click on it and it automatically adds to your actions. So it's very simple, very quick to do. So with that said, hopefully this was informative for you guys and kind of showed you how I actually go about the process of removing blemishes and smoothening the skin tones of the models that I work with. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.